update for you from Kimberly Bogan with the Office of the Guardian. As with every good Friday, alien technology that lays dormant throughout the rest of the year comes alive on this day. Locations on Earth affected would be Mount Rushmore, South Dakota, the Garden Tomb in Jerusalem, Israel, Greenland, and in the Hill of the Cross in Guatemala. The connection between all of these sites forms a cross formation that emits a dark frequency throughout the planet. This frequency is known as the Octave of Easter. According to our history, the Octave of Easter begins on Easter Sunday and continues for one full week following until the following Sunday. It begins at the exact time of the death of Christ, Jesus Christ, around noon Eastern Standard Time on Good Friday and continues through to the following new moon, which falls this year on the 8th of April, 2024. When this frequency was fully operational, it opened a dark gateway to the lower astral. But now there is no lower astral. So this structure failed to create any loss of the Christ or crystalline energy of the planet. However, it did emit some rather disturbing frequencies, which are now clearing as of the time of this recording. We believe the structure used the original rightful guardian for source on this planet known to us as Christ and his death to curse this planet for more than 2016 years. This year, the curse has been broken and we have moved into the golden age and there is no going back as Christ and his death to curse this planet for more than 2016 years. This year, the curse has been broken and we have moved into the golden age and there is no going back. As for the deep state, they are in full swing today, hoping for a miracle of their own by April 1st. Not this year, deep state. This year, the April Fool's joke is on you. For those of you celebrating this